you know, uh, I think right off the bat, um, Matherin came out and hit a couple threes, or maybe it was Nate Smith, one of them, and uh, really just started playing well, clicking on all cylinders. Uh, <clears throat> it kind of seemed like we didn't withstand the punch as well as we could have, and then once we got back to it, it was late in the fourth, and by that time, anything could happen because they're in such a good rhythm. So. You guys let up. Did you feel their energy rise? Like what, what kind of shift? I think the energy rise. Um, again, I, I think they played really well, but they knew uh, with Tyrese out, you know, um, who's their main ball handler, other people are going to have to step up. And they had quite a few tonight that stepped up and, and did really well. What was the challenge guarding him? Uh, you know, like everyone kind of knows the spots he wants to get to, but he's so crafty. He's able to get yeah, he pushes the pace. Uh, just number one, uh, just off top, gets it out and pushes the pace. So there's going to be quick outlets, uh, quick layups if we're not set defensively. And I think they started getting a couple of those. And then um, really just trying to keep him out the paint. Um, we know that he loves to pull up too, and <clears throat> that's a big energy play for him. But um, I think once he gets into the paint and starts to get layups and stuff, that really uh, turns him up. So he, again, he, he played really well tonight. Not expecting it. Why did it take you so long to kind of get back to? You know, sometimes it's just, sometimes that's just how it is. Uh, but we're up 10 or 11, 9 or 11 going in that, going in halftime. Um, again, I think kind of through that third, they just kind of walked us down. Uh, I think by the end of the third, they might have been up one or two. And then um, from there, you know, it was just kind of a battle who can make plays. But again, they they played well without without their star player tonight, which I hope he's doing OK. So. Absolutely. Um, you guys have been a really good season for you guys so far. It's hard to do too much. But to us, uh, the common thread that you guys have lost, Joe's been really frustrated with like those one big quarters you give up defensively. Is there any kind of common thread you've seen um, during the it's usually the third. <laughs> it's a common thread. It's usually the third quarter. Um, I think maybe we don't come out with the energy that we that we should. Um, I think that's probably the the biggest thing. I think that that I might see is uh, <clears throat> no matter who's out there. There's sometimes in those thirds where we in the first we just start off so well and our energy is up and we're really physical and then that third we don't come out the way we're supposed to. So something we got to take care of. Um, am I? I mean, yeah. I think based off of where I came from, but that was a different team with um, different needs uh, and what they needed out of me. So this team, what they need out of me is is uh, for me to be solid, for me to be open to different different types of um, strategies and, and situations every every single game where I might be guarding a big or uh, I might be on a small or a big might be on me. There's so many different scenarios. So. Um, yeah, I appreciate KP saying that where, again, I would probably say the bulk of my career, I've uh, had the ball quite a bit. But again, we have a really good team. Um, I'm not mad at my situation. I'm not mad at uh, the sacrifices that I have to make because even though I might be making the biggest one, KP says, like everybody makes them. KP was on a different team where he was the best player. Um, um, even JB and, and uh, JT, where, yeah, they're still going to be our star players, but there are nights where maybe they don't have it or maybe somebody else has it and they might not get the numbers that they usually get. Um, you have Derek White that's playing at an all-star all level. Uh, you have Al who's sacrificed, I feel like, just as much as I have. So it just keeps on going down the line of, of, of the people sacrificing, and I feel like it's being noticed, and that's why our record is 28 and 8. Last two games are in the 2-1-2 zone defense. Do you enjoy that? I do. I do. That's definitely something different for me. Um, I'm usually on ball and and guarding the best player and locked into that and trying to fight over screens and, um, again, trying to get around block shots and stuff. But um, I think being able to kind of talk and direct people 
uh, on where to go and <clears throat> has been new for me, has been different. Again, I'm usually listening to people behind me, so this is kind of a different um, role for me to be able to be the one screaming at people in front of me. Yeah, I enjoy that. And it seems like the, the coaching staff and Joe, Joe enjoys it too. Um, and I also like it because we do it in, maybe to you guys it could be random times that we start doing it. But uh, I feel like it's, there's always something that we can work on and something that we can learn from. So even tonight, um, trying that 2-1-2 and then putting it in and slowing it down. Um, we even did it the game before where it kind of slowed him down. And uh, I feel like that's something that we'll work on because we're going to need it down the line. So. Being able to have, actually being able to implement it and uh, have the talent to do it and to do it in so many variations has been cool. You're pretty far into your career. Like, it's not like there's much new to add to your game and kind of do everything. So is it fun to, like, this, this point of your career to get to try something new? For sure. Pressure. For sure. I think it's about uh, growing and being a better player. Um, kind of like you said, expanding my game. Um, not just sticking to the things that I've always done as a basketball player. So I think at first kind of getting out of my comfort zone, but I'm, I'm starting to fall in line. All right.